Good evening. Um, I'm going to play a demo today. Um, as you can probably imagine, I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. And oh, sorry, I'm double checking things are using the right stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons, and today I'm playing a demo for a game where I am playing an innkeeper of a RPG. Tavern. Come out in a second. I need to be Welcome to Halflington. Picturesque, eh? You no, must be here to audition channel, for the so protagonist. I can't actually see role. if anyone's in. Chat. Very well. We'll see if you're up for it. Why don't you take a look around? It's a good chance that this will just be the demo that I played in the past. I do love a tavern, don't you? So cozy. Let's see if you know your way around the basics. Not to get too technical, but can you point out a table? I'll let you know if you're off track. Oh, that's a relief. You wouldn't believe how many main characters I lose on that one. This next one will be a bit trickier. Can you point out a patron? That's what Correct. I... Correct! Though in the future, you might refrain from poking strangers. Some find it rude. That's objects and people handle. Shall we see if you can tell the difference between the rooms? Can you locate the storeroom? Very good. The storeroom is also a great place to hide from annoying customers. Oh dear, is that an adventurer headed this way? Always a handful, heroes. Why don't you see what he wants? After all, interacting with odd characters is part of the job. Just click on the fellow with the Heck book yeah. above his hey. head. As you move to intercept the adventurer, he sweeps his sword from its sheath and slams it into the bar top, rattling the tankards and startling the other patrons. Why? He strikes a valiant pose. Fear not, simple townsfolk. The hero has arrived. He frowns, giving his breastplate a polish with a bar towel. Hm, not much of a greeting. 
In stories, people usually welcome heroes with more grateful bowing. Never mind, I don't have time to educate the help. I have an epic journey to begin, and those usually start with slaying... Good thinking. The best tales start with heroes brooding in corners. If anyone comes in with a magic ring or a prophecy or something, send them my way. That'll be the call to adventure. He takes a few steps away and then glances back, smiling, hopefully. Actually, you haven't heard any adventurous prophecies. That... Really? I don't have to do any fighting or dungeon crawling? The whole world isn't hinging on my valiant deeds? I could just hang out? He takes his hand off his sword and heaves a heavy sigh. He seems relieved. That... well... That sounds nice, actually. The whole destined hero thing was weighing on me, if I'm honest. If you need me, I'll be trying out a cosy chair by the fire. You hand him a tankard, and he wanders off to admire the decor, sword sheathed. You managed to defuse the situation? Impressive. I thought for sure that would be a disaster. Let's move on. Now, I'd like to see how you handle opening a tavern yourself. Click on the prompt to the right when you're ready. Welcome to the swamp. Sorry, I blew the location budget on that Halflington Tavern. I hope you like mud. First things first, it's time to teach you how to teach yourself. Hovering your cursor over things like checklists can bring up helpful tool tips. Why don't you try it? Just an infinite reference. Oh. <laughs> how far, how bloody deep is this? Phenomenal work! You mastered tooltips, and thus the secret to mastering the whole game. Onwards! The tap room is ready, but you're missing a vital piece, the tap. Yeah. You'll need That's one it. to serve drinks. Build one wherever you like. It's that easy! Ready to hire your first staffer? Oh, that was a frog. Really? Based on those qualifications, are they a friend of yours? Never mind, it's time to buy drinks. The traveling merchant will be here momentarily. Click on him when he arrives. Excited to tap that barrel? Select the tap you installed to assign your new beverage to it.
That does it for basic necessities. I think you're ready to open for business. Unlock those doors! It's smooth sailing from here. Wait for a patron and your staffer will do the work. Dead simple, see? Now, let me show you how to make your tavern more cozy. Decorating your tavern truly makes it your own. Take this table, for example. It's an empty canvas, ready to transform. You might decorate it with something simple, perhaps place a centerpiece. But why stop there? You can change and tweak every element according to your mood. Ooh! Feeling romantic? And you needn't stop at simply decorating. You can design anything you can imagine, That's piece cool by piece. Go wild! For now, let's try something simple. Select a piece from the design mode and combine it with the table. You'll have hundreds of options as a tavern keeper, but let's start with three. That's an interesting choice. Well, there's no accounting for taste. Are you? That's enough decorating for now. You know, I think I've found my protagonist. The role is yours if you want it. Go on, run the tavern as you like for a few days. Perhaps you can earn your first tavern star. Okay, so this guy needs an outhouse.
angegeben Coin. Was ist denn hier für ein You hear a dry, rhythmic clatter approaching the front door of the tavern. Could it be a peddler selling kindling or a shaman's rattlestick? But when the door opens, it's a skeleton standing on the stoop. It shambles in. Its skull swivels, fixing you with a baleful, undead stare. The skeleton... Many thanks, many thanks. The name's Cusper. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Those skulls seem already to grin by default. Somehow the skeleton seems to smile. One off the tap, if you please. I don't drink much, but I enjoy holding the mug and sloshing it around. Find the ritual of it soothing, I suppose. Lifts the spirits? Not so much lately. The shifts down at the dungeon have been drying up ever since the Dark Lord abdicated. Could be for the best. You serve the drink. Cuthbert clasps it, tapping his bony fingers against the pewter mug. Truth is... Me art's not in the job anymore. Been starting to wonder, did I become a dungeon henchman because it was what I wanted or because it was expected of me? I could be missing out on a job I really love. 
I want a job where I can chat with people. Something like what you do. Skeletons give everybody the willies. Whenever I'm out and about on errands, people run the other way. Even shopkeeps. You've talked me into it. I'm headed down to that dungeon right now and turning in me rusty old sword and shield. The afterlife is too sh I bet that nice skeleton is looking for a new job by now. You should check the new applicants. Maybe. It is a good server. He'd like to work as here. a skeleton. Some patrons might find Cuthbert a little frightening. Also, he hardly sleeps. But no one's perfect. In fact, when he was alive, he. Oh, never mind. Let's save that story for the full game. Oh. Carry on. Seems we're in for a rainy night.
right a one really star a rating cost, already? Bro. You're a natural. <laughs> Click on the message on the right to claim it. Fun. Makes you want another one, doesn't it?
<laughs> That's a Harry Potter reference.
Sí. Hey, what? Bad weather on the way. Feel it in my bad leg, right here in the joint, ever since that goblin injured it. The old-timer leans heavily on the back of a chair and rubs his knobby knee, grimacing out the window at the mild day outside. Sure, he apologized right there on the dance floor for dropping me mid-twirl. Even bought me a candy apple after. Sweet feller. 
Still, legs never been the same since. You feel that in the air, young'un? That's the storm. So you can feel it too, eh? Right you are. That rain's coming.
That's a door.
shit's falling apart. I don't think I'm. I think the demo's gonna finish before I can buy more stuff. This sucks. Because I really wanna keep playing this game now. God damn it, this is what happens at the PAX. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is. It'll be out hopefully in the next couple of months. I know. I know that's the purpose of a demo, but like when you can't buy the game immediately afterwards, it's so much worse. Because it's still being worked on. Uh, oh, he's playing the knife game. Uh, is the knife game as fun if you're already undead? Okay, 
I might get like two hours customer time. True. And like, will they just magically reattach or do you have to like go to a specialist or something? Because there's no muscle to grow around them. Plastic surgery for the undead. See, I don't want to make someone the full-time janitor. Because everyone's got skills that are similar levels. But I think for the sake of the place, I might have to. save when the pool game comes out. Probably not, but I will. People are no white basin and no heating. So there's this heater, but you do so many down. Anything about a wash basin. I presume you're the employer of this establishment. I represent a service that matches employers with desperate job seekers they can exploit. The tiny woman peers up at you through thick lensed glasses, smiling brightly. Mind if I drop off some information? They'll work cheaper than your current staffers, I can promise you that. They're desperate for employment. She shrugs. Suit yourself. Not every business owner has the killer instinct required to thrive in the capitalist feeding frenzy. But I wish you the best of luck. Don't get eaten. Waving cheerfully, she tucks away her literature and leaves you be. You glance at your staffer. They give you a thumbs up. Still, 
You get the sense the two of you are fish in the presence of a shark. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna cut more workers, get stuffed. Finishing soon. A shame we can't keep on playing forever, but Damn this it. is just a demo. How should we end things? I'll leave it up to you. Here, a nice shiny button. Ooh. Press <laughs> it to end things with a bang. Or let the timer run out and leave your tavern to putter along after you go. Yeah, I ain't buying the place, so. It certainly is a tempting button, no? The suspense is simply dreadful. Oh, wait, I can't actually do anything now. I just have to wait. You're showing incredible restraint. I bet that clicking finger is simply itching. Not really. I mean, a little. But not really. You can if you want. No one will know. Just little old me. Are you sure you don't want to push it? I'm all good. Ooh, you're almost out of time. You resisted the urge to push a big shiny button for that long? How unusual. I bet you'll make some remarkable choices in the full story. I can't wait to find out. Thanks for playing the Tavern Keeper demo. I've had ever so much fun. There's the information there for anyone who wants to. Um, that's it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're on YouTube and um, you want to check out the Twitch stream, the link is in the description below. You can find me at twitch.tv slash waitos96. Um, I will be probably playing this on stream once it actually comes out, but I just thought I'd play the demo again. This, I can't wait for it to come out, to be honest. Yeah. I think that's going to be it for now. I might come back on later after I've had dinner and everything, but yeah, replacing all the scrolls. Till then, see you later.